Hey there everyone and welcome to the channel again. Like always, it's me, your host Amy from Fun Adventure and welcome to a new personal Fun Fun collection update. Lately, some of the pens from my personal collection were listed on the Pen Venture website and they found their new homes. I've went forward and uh, had some more added to my personal Fun Fun collection. And in this video, I wanna share with you something very, very major and spoiler alert, it's Rouge. Stay tuned because I wanna show you this. Take a look around. What a beautiful, beautiful day. Sun is out and a new fun pen, a major, major entry in my personal fun pen collection just arrived. Uh, well, it arrived yesterday, but I'm a fun pen collector, so I'm a very, very patient collector and my patience runs like 10 to 15 minutes. So the parcel got opened and the fun pen was um, unboxed and tested already. So I'm not going to show you an unboxing because it wouldn't be fair. Anyway, I had two days yesterday and today to play with this founder band and uh, oh boy, wow. Wow, what a, what, what a great experience. What a great fountain pen. Uh, some of the pens that were listed on the Venture website uh, found their new owners and I'm super happy that everything worked out well in the end. Uh, some of the latest fountain pens that were shipped uh, included the Bologna uh, Blue Lucian's Celluloid Extra from Armando Simoni Club. It found uh, its new home with uh, a person that I'm not going to, I don't know, um, should I uh, share the name of this person or not? I would say that his name is Ismael and probably we will see it online very soon. It's number 13 and a beautiful, beautiful fountain pen with uh, ruthenium plated trims, black. It was my personal fountain pen. I've enjoyed it, I've used it. I've got a lot, a lot of writing sessions in my daily journaling with that fountain pen. And uh, it was time to go forward to the next step and to explore some more new models. You know that lately I've been getting more and more into Rushi. And uh, one of the persons that really, really uh, is side by side me in this journey is the person that uh, uh, helps me to acquire some of these fountain pens. And her name is Catherine from Shakura Fountain Pen Gallery. And uh, she is a wonderful person. Anyway, I'm not going to prolong this uh, surprise. It's a new Danny Trio. Urushi fountain pen. And the ones that I have are two models and they are right here. I have this uh, Danny Trio short Genkai. Quite, quite rare fountain pen. A staple in my collection. This is my first ever Danny Trio. It has this beautiful, beautiful finish, this green Urushi with um, silver sparkles in it, Shitoyans, and if I'm not mistaken, the name of this finish is Niji Meiji Nuri. And uh, I'm gonna link the video review up here. Just be very careful. It's a video review of this fountain pen, but it is from a very, very funny and weird version of myself reviewing this fountain pen. But it was uh, in my um, early days and um, my English was not that well developed and uh, just bear with me, uh, it's me in the beginning. So take a look at that if you want to see more details about this fountain pen, but I've enjoyed it a lot. There were some small issues with this fountain pen and uh, it was sent off to Michael from Taminuri Studio to be restored because the last layer, the clear layer of Urushi was uh, developing some issues and Michael helped me with that and made everything uh, look shiny and great. And uh, I decided to keep this fountain pen. Uh, it has a funny story. It was sold to a customer of mine and a dear, dear friend. And uh, when that person uh, decided to let it go, I wanted it back, so it stumbled upon to be again in my personal fountain collection. So I'm really happy. 
size 8 gold nib, beautiful, beautiful Danny Trio with the usual stamping of the nibs, two tones, medium nib. And uh, since the last time that uh, we've had this uh, kind of a personal collection update, someone mentioned in the comment, why don't you just write with the fountain pen? So we are going to use it for a few sentences. Bear with me, stay a little bit more because I want to show you next my second Danny Trio. And this is the Blue Dragon Hyotan. And this is a stunning, stunning looking fountain pen. This is my first Maki A Urushi creation. I was just simply blown away by this fountain pen at the first time that I've seen it. It was listed on a very, very popular website for sale. And back then I wasn't ready to have such an expensive fountain pen and uh, I didn't went for it. A few years down the line, I went for it and I was able to have this fountain pen in my personal fountain pen collection. I don't regret anything regarding it, uh, other than something small, really small, like the nib is small. It's a size six gold nib with the fireball from Danny Trio. It's a fine point and I am very happy with the way it's riding. I was expecting the number eight or bigger nib, but regarding the size of this fountain pen, the only thing that's fitting in regards of proportions, I believe it's a size six. So a beautiful fountain pen. This Blue Dragon is amazing and I love this fountain pen. Moving further. Well, what I have here today is inside this little sleeve from Tatcha. And by the way, this was a gift from Catherine at Chakura Fountain Gallery, and I'm uh, grateful for that. She has a very, very unique way of packing uh, the pants uh, that uh, almost prevents you from uh, opening the box because the parcels are that cutely wrapped. So Catherine, you make my uh, daily routine very, very emotional when I have to tour down uh, a fountain pen that is wrapped like a gift in order to get to it. Anyway, in uh, some of the parcels from Catherine, I received also some samples of paper. We have a sample of Graffilo 85 GSM and a sample of also Graffilo 85 GSM. I can't wait to try this new paper. And uh, just like I told you in a few videos, I'm on a quest to find a substitute for Tome River paper, and I'm that close to finding it. So stay tuned because I wanna share with you some of my findings. Also from Catherine, I received two ink samples from Sailor, and uh, I love samples. This is uh, something like Skittles to me. So I can't wait to try this and to discover some of the colors and to also see what do I will add to my uh, personal ink collection as well in the near future. Another goodie bags which I've opened and inside there were some chocolate and uh, too bad uh, I'm on a diet and uh, I don't consume any sugar in the past six to eight months. I only take my sugar from uh, fruits and uh, whole food sources and um, well it looks like there will be a uh, treat to a cup of coffee to some of uh, the people that are visiting us at the store. So Catherine, thank you for that. Anyway, I have this uh, wiping uh, cloth for uh, the fountain pen and I'm not sure which is the purpose of this and uh, bear with me because I want to tell you what do I think this uh, handkerchief is used. Well, I think it's used uh, in order to wipe the tears off when you see the um, PayPal balance or the credit card balance after you purchase uh, such a fun pen. And uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm just having a fun day, so this is just jokes. And uh, anyway, um, Urushi comes with the cost and you need to understand that. Clue number two, it's Akataminuri. And Akataminuri is a uh, Urushi finish which I think it's one of my favorites. It is in the same place with uh, um, black over green, which is Midori Taminuri, and I love it. 
Altogether, I've seen many variations of Akatamenuri, and I have two of them right here. So I have a Nakaya Piccolo, the big Piccolo in Akatamenuri from Nakaya. Very, very stunning fountain pen, which let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see a video review of this fountain pen, because this is one of the fountain pens which I think it's so cool that I overlooked the fact that it's small in comparison to some of the fountain pens that I have in my personal fountain pen collection. And side by side, I'm gonna put a Leonardo Akata Minuti, which is my personal exclusive edition done with Michael from Tamenuri Studio. So both of them are made in Akata Minuti, but they are different because Akata Minuti is just like a color which the artist paints it in Urushi or applies Urushi to it. He is going to decide which is the technique and uh, the way that is mixing the colors and the uh, effect that he is willing to uh, get on that fountain pen. So I love Akata Menuri. It is just like this uh, vivid burgundy, almost brick-like color of red. And also there is a faint, uh, let's just say, shade of darker Urushi upon that. On the edges, we find some small, small polishing areas which reveal more of this intense red color. I'm not going to prolong you from seeing it anymore and uh, let's see what is inside. Take a look at this. This is one of the most impressive fountain pens that I've actually got my hands on lately. It's a Denny Trio Mikado. The finish is Akata Minuri. Simple Urushi from Denny Trio. It is a trip. Just like I told you, it's a little bit different. If we put it side by side, here is side by side a Nakaya in Akata Minuri. I think it's closer to an Akata Minuri done by Michael. And uh, let me show you the nib because it's just as stunning as this fountain pen. It doesn't have any clip, the size eight gold nib, medium. I hate to say that uh, I wanted something else, but I did. I wanted something like a fine or a stub or a broad, something different. Anyway, I'm not upset. And when it comes to this rare fountain pants, I really think that the nib size should not be something that uh, needs to be so cared after. Anyway, beautiful fountain pen, Japanese, shot of valve, and uh, it's an eyedropper fountain pen. Really, really interesting, and I'm gonna show you a writing sample with it very soon. Till then, we need to update the list of my currently owned fountain pens. Down below, I will put down on the list this Danny Trio as well. The number of my Danny Trio fountain pens is at three, and I'm not stopping here. Super happy with my purchase. Also down below, I'm gonna leave you the link for the Shikura Fountain Pen Gallery website if you're looking for something in Urushi. That is probably where you can find a lot of Urushi fountain pens and my eyes are on the next Urushi pen, which is not from Danny Trio, not from Nakaya. Although I have a Dorsal Fin V2 and a V1 and the Piccolo, I was thinking about getting a Platinum Izumo. what you say? Should I do it? There is a special one in black with a dragon and a sword. And uh, if I'm gonna find a picture, I'm gonna attach it. That is probably my target for the next uh, Urushi fountain pen. If things are not going to change. Now, let me show you how this fountain pens are writing. So I'm gonna get my trusty notebook and uh, I'm gonna show you something. Let's see, let's find a blank page. And uh, yeah, let's write right here. Don't mind, it is a dated notebook, but I don't keep a track on dates because I hate leaving such a good paper like Tomo River paper, such a rare paper uh, with blank pages behind me. And in the correct order that I acquired this fountain pens, I'm gonna use uh, the Danny Trio short Genkai. And uh, let's see, Danny Trio short Genkai. I'm gonna put a G from Genkai. And uh, I'm gonna show you how it writes. Uh, super wet, beautiful fountain pen, uh, interesting uh, way the nib is writing. It has a hint of a feedback, nothing unpleasant. And since it's a Japanese shadow valve, I'm gonna open it 
and let me show you how it writes with this open because the flow it's a little bit better and uh, we have Danny hmm I think we have a dentist in the building uh, someone definitely is drilling some holes Danny trio quite quite wetter than the initial writing and here is one pass and here is a double pass as you see the difference is quite obvious now i'm going to use my blue dragon and this has a different nib got to be very careful with this urushi fauna pants because the surface is so beautiful and i don't want to damage that so we have denny trio And this is a Hyotam Blue Dragon. This is this is an eyedropper fountain pen. We don't have the shadow of valve uh, in order to open it and to adjust the flow. I don't mind that. They seem to be working very well, and I just love how they are overall simple and very very reliable in the way that they are designed now the mikado and uh, hmm i just love the size this one's a very very big fountain pen and uh, just just to show you how big it is and i'm going to show you my other big fountain pen and this is uh, a delta roma imperiale and it's just like five millimeters shorter than my Roma Imperiale. The Roma Imperiale is quite a big fountain pen. Anyway, the Roma Imperiale was uh, dethroned to say so by another huge, huge fountain pen, which I have it right here. And this is my old win classic custom in Urushi and also Radon. Beautiful fountain pen and uh, the biggest, the longest fountain pen in my collection till this point. It is very, very big, like uh, one centimeter or even one centimeter plus longer than the Mikado. Now, I'm gonna show you something cool. This medium nib is amazing. It is just how, how it came from the box. I haven't tinkered with and uh, trust me it is a stunning stunning writing nib and uh, seeing how beautiful it is in writing i didn't mind the fact that it was a medium at all so we have denny trio and this is a mikado and i just one moment hmm let's see so this is a mikado I didn't know how to write Mikado and uh, for the purest out there, I'm just checking to be sure that I'm writing correctly. Mikado. The medium uh, on the Mikado is a little bit thicker than the medium on the Danitri or short Genkai. But on the Genkai, I have to be honest with you guys, I did tinkered a little bit with the nib and made it so like the tines were a little bit closer and that uh, resulted in a uh, let's just say a skinny medium but still wet let's open the shadow valve of this fountain pen because ooh, i just love how smooth is this and how it looks and the color is just like a good good expensive red wine and i love it now let's eat danny ooh, so so more wet ink flow mikado and uh here is a one pass <laughs> it's so so wet and it's just super super fun and interesting and i love this i love it now let's write at least a few lines and the famous sentence because i don't know i just love to write with this fountain pen and we have the Quick brown 
fox jumps over the lazy dog. I love it. I love this fountain pen. I love how it writes and uh, I can't wait to try it. Uh, this beautiful, beautiful ink color uh, was provided in a sample by Catherine at Shakura Fountain Gallery, what I have in uh, the Mikado. It's something from Sailor and I'm going to look forward at checking my phone to see the actual name of the color. Sailor Manyo 2 Ume. Yeah. That's the name of uh, this amazing color. And uh, I'm gonna burn through this uh, color quite quickly since this fountain band has such a rich ink flow. Anyway, this is the latest addition to my personal fountain band collection and I'm super, super happy uh, that I went forward and uh, purchased it and uh, I'm not regretting anything. Uh, it is a rare sight and then it reels are not coming out as much uh, as they used to be in the past years, so I think I'm gonna keep this one in my personal fountain stash uh, quite safely and uh, quite secure. Thank you very much for spending your time on the Pendenger YouTube channel. Thank you for following uh, up with uh, my personal fountain collection and I hope I didn't get you too bored. I'm super excited and I can't wait to um, learn a lot of things regarding this fountain pen and uh, get them ready uh, in order to be showcased in a video review coming. Don't forget to hit a big thumbs up to this video. I'm trying to grow the channel to reach out to many more just like you. Also, I'm gonna update the list down below. You can check there and see the entire collection of fountain pens that I'm owning. I believe I'm uh, around 82 or 83 fountain pens, I'm not sure. And uh, probably by the end of the year, I'm gonna try to hit a three digit number. <laughs> I don't know if this is good news or bad news and for who it's a good news and for who it's a bad news. Anyway, don't tell my accountant anything. Shh. It's just between us. Anyway, thank you very much for your support and your loyalty. If you scroll down below, you'll find the links for our website. If you're looking for an extra writing instrument, don't hesitate, go there. And uh, also down below, you'll find the links for our social media accounts, email, phone number, anything and everything that you may need in order to reach out to us. If you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to help you. I know that some of you that are watching uh, our videos are not subscribed yet. So if you want to support, subscribe right now. Just click there and turn the notification bell on. It's that easy. And if you want to see more quality content from Penventure and uh, myself, Emmy, I'm gonna leave you this uh, video right here. Click and enjoy. As always, it's your host, Amy, and I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care, stay safe, bye-bye.